What's up everybody, this is George McPherson with Black Cyber. I want to do a quick email analysis. So right here I'm in my uh, Outlook mail, I'm going to click on this email. If I hover over this link, first we go up here, let's take a look. It says you're invited to drive for Lyft. So you would think Lyft would be something like Lyft.com or whatever the URL is. When we hover over this, it's a completely different link if you look at the bottom left-hand side of the screen. So I'm not going to click on that, obviously. I'm going to click to the side of the screen. I'm going to go ahead and right-click on the link. Copy my link location. I'm going to go to Virus Total, great free online tool. Click on the URL tab. I'm going to paste the link in. So right here, we can see that the site is clean right now, but I do have my doubts about this link, the way it looks. It's not lift.com. Um, it's probably a newly stood up domain th that will be malicious. Probably if we check this in a couple of days from now, it would be malicious. So I don't trust this link. So I'm going to do a little more analysis of the email. I'm going to go back out. I'm going to right click on that email view message source I'm gonna do a control A to select all I'm gonna go over here to another free tool MX toolbox email header analysis analyzer I'm gonna go ahead and paste the information and click analyze header so Taking a look right here, nothing is on a black list right now, so that part is good, but I'm going to go ahead and scroll down. Right here we see a sender IP right here. We can also scroll down and we'll just verify that that is the actual sender IP. We'll go ahead and copy that. And if we go over to uh, Talos Intelligence by Cisco, we'll go ahead and put that IP in. Now, this gets interesting. This IP is in Russia, the Russian Federation. Um, right now, it has a neutral reputation. It doesn't have a bad reputation, but I'm thinking this is a new campaign. So just by... The URL not being the Lyft URL. This IP being a Russian IP. We can just safely assume that this is probably not a good email. And not a legitimate email. And that was our email analysis. Thank you.